Hello everyone. I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. Uh, since I did, did a big book review. My name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. I run a metaphysical, online metaphysical store, uh, Chemistry. Uh, if you are interested in products, check us out at www.chemistry.com. I'll leave a link uh, when I post this video. Uh, this book is called Paper in My Shoe. Now, I've been practicing a little bit uh, with my own candle petitions and my own work that I do, my own healing, my own healing methods that I am de developing on my own. Uh, whatever you want to call it, spell, prayer, or whatever. I, I, I am developing my own. And uh, I really noticed the difference in my work when I bought this book. Paper in my shoe. Uh, name papers, petition papers, and prayers in the Hoodoo Root Work uh, Tradition by Catherine Yawode. I would say Yawode. Let me put it up here so you can see it. So, yeah, uh, it's very practical. Uh, what I have very good results with the burning. So, uh, the burning of the petition. Uh, I remember writing one at first when I was doing my work when I started off, but I don't use a petition every time, uh, every time I do it. So, if you're interested in enhancing any of your work, Look at paper in my shoe. Uh, it really, really helped me. I saw my work manifest uh, quicker. It began to manifest more quicker. It's something about that writing and, and that mental energy as you write that I, I guess that releases, um, I don't know, it, 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 it releases some sort of power, you know, uh, within the others. That's the only way I can explain it. And uh, it manifests very quickly. Uh, so I want to play around with this more and, and, and uh, with my other stuff because it really worked. My other stuff worked, but it just take, took longer to manifest. Uh, but this is a really good book. This is a really good book. This, this, uh, I almost saw immediate results. Uh, with the paper, you know, I almost, I almost saw immediate re results, you know, like next day results. So, uh, and that sped my work up. It really did. So, if you're interested in um, enhancing your work, uh, get this book. It's nothing but like, it's not a long book at all. It's under a uh, hundred pages. And uh, what I like about it, it is sticks to the the work of our, our ancestors that were here, already here, uh, who do root work and tradition. So it speaks a lot from those, from the, that, that part is easy to understand. Uh, it's not hard to understand. It's very factual. It used uh, Psalms, a lot of Psalms in here. Uh, and Psalms is nothing but a book of poems that can be used for all types of uh, healing, spiritual, for spiritual uses. You can use songs for all types of spiritual uses. So uh, that was helpful too in this book. I really love this book. This is a really old book. Uh, I got that along with the other who do candle work. Uh, but this, they have all types of uh, information in there for any type of, uh, they got uh, money and photo for, for child support. So they have all types of uh, uh, spiritual um, uh, I'm gonna say spells or prayers or work, whatever you want to call it. Um, they have all that in there, and uh, it's very helpful. Uh, you know, you can always you don't have to follow uh, someone else's, and that's one thing I want to bring up too. When you start doing this kind of work, and 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 you just want to uh, see, you know, when you start using your power so to speak when you start using your prayer power uh, it's okay to do something that is unique to you you know it's okay to make your own 
You don't have to follow uh, this by verbatim. You know, you can, if it works for you, then you can keep doing it. But, you know, I've learned by doing my own stuff, it's, it's, it's better, you know, because it's unique to me. It's my energy. And I, I feel like uh, my intentions are going to be more potent than anybody else's because it's my experience. You know, I am the one who is feeling some type of way. You know, that's why I'm doing this work, this prayer work. So uh, that just intensifies uh, your power, I think. You know, I know. It intensifies your powers. You know, you can get other people to do it, but it's so much better when you can do your own. So, uh, you know, you don't have to follow this by verbatim. Okay? Make your own. Make things your own. I can't emphasize that enough in, in, in this type of stuff because that's how our ancestors did our stuff. Now, some people share that stuff. You don't have to share your stuff. I, I would rather you not share your specific uh, things that you do on a regular basis, not unless, you know, in public, not unless it's with your family, you know, you, somebody you entrust with this knowledge, you know, that's why, um, you know, people, a lot of people don't talk about their stuff, and that's for a good reason, the less private, I mean, the less people know, the more powerful your work will be, okay, it's, remember, it's your reality, it's your reality, and I can get into that, but I'm not going to get into that right now. That's a little bit deeper when you uh, understand metaphysics on uh because it's quantum physics. You know, metaphysics is nothing but it's a science that, that science can't even touch or feel. Uh, and so it goes beyond physics. So you talk beyond physics. So it's, it's metaphysics. It's quantum physics. Something that you can't... Uh, you know, see, touch, or smell, but you are witnessing. So, um, that is metaphysics. And that's what you're doing here. You are tapping into some, changing it, changing your reality uh, with your mind to get the, the results that you want. Okay? So, you're tapping in, into that, uh, into that power. So, uh, you don't always have to follow somebody else by, ver by, uh, by verbatim. If you are aware of that and, and, and you own that and have the confidence to do your work, it will, it will come out, it, your desire will, will manifest. You know, it will manifest. So, I can't stress that enough. Uh, I, I'll, well, I also want, I'm not going to be long because this, this is not a very, uh, very long book. It's a very good book. Uh, you should get it. I know I, I'm, I'm glad I got mine. Um, one of my clients actually got this book for me, so uh, and and that was that was a a, a wonderful experience too. Uh, and she got this book for me, and I'm I'm so happy. And ancestors just used people in my life to uh, really uh, help me on my journey. You know, I trust the journey. When you just trust the journey. Uh, uh, things will manifest, you know, and I know it's scary, uh, trusting a, a, a new journey as a spiritual person, and this, this is going to lead me to what I was going to talk to you about anyway, uh, I know it's, it's, it's very hard to trust your own journey, because you've been following, uh, the church for so long, you've been following some type of person for so long, and you may be searching to get into Ifa. You might be searching to get into Vudum. You might be searching to go into these, you know, be initiated. You know, and I see a lot of people that uh, go into that. You know, they 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 um, they desire to be initiated in uh, some of these African traditions. Uh, you know, uh, what, what, whatever you call it, legit, legitly being in the religion. And that's just us as uh, Aboriginal people. We are very, uh, very, very, very uh, spiritual people. We're very connected to nature and the universe. So, uh, yes, we have that longing inside of us to be uh, very next to God because that's, that, that is the, the very essence of our being. So that's, that's why that's there. Understand that first before you want to be initiated. 
and I'm going to speak on initiation, uh, and I hope others don't take offense, but this is my take on it. After knowing the history of who we are, the history of who we are as Aboriginal people, you know, uh, and we're, we're everywhere. My take on initiation and ATRs. Uh, I feel like, uh, and this is my, this is what I pick up looking at, like looking at the history of our ancestors and our people as a whole uh, on this planet. I'm not, I'm not speaking for just this nation. I'm, th I'm think, I'm speaking from the whole planet where we came from. We were always the first uh, beings on any continent, uh, you know, and that's just a fact. We were already there, you know. Uh, many of the continents uh, we were on, we were already there. So, uh, that, that says a lot. Okay, so, um, I believe, you know, these initiation, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think initiation is necessary at all. I believe these initiations from these ATRs, and I, I, I have nothing against the ATRs, uh, but I, I, I am against, you know, you're, we're having to pay all this money to be initiated and then when you go into these initiation, it's nothing like the way you expect. Okay? You have to totally follow somebody else. This is their tradition. You can't really do anything on your own. I don't want you to be sidetracked and thinking you're going to go in here and you're going to really be able to do this kind of stuff normally on your own. There, You know, that's not going to happen. You know, you have to follow the elders. Everything they tell you to do, you have to do it. You know, you have to do it. Uh, and if you're up for that, fine. You know, if that's what you want to do. You know, if you want to go into that and you want to practice that tradition, because again, it's a religion. You're still going into another religion. You're not going, you know, you're not going to, I think that the freedom that, you know, be sure you know the freedom that you're looking for. That's what that, that, that's how I'm going to explain that. I'm trying to explain this so delicate. I'm, I'm trying to choose my words very wisely because I'm not trying to bash the ATRs either. But I want you to understand what you're getting yourself into when you go get initiated into these religions and, and with the responsibility you have financially because it, it costs financially, it costs a lot of money, a lot of money. And then in these days, you don't really know this is somebody else's tr tradition. This is a, a, a tradition. You know, just like these other religions, they all evolved out of a tradition that somebody did. You know, it could have started from one person. But when I see that this comes from one person, that means that worked for that person. And now they made a religion out of it, you know. And that's that's how I look at it. They they made a, you know, a religion out of uh, their traditions, African traditional religion. You know, that's what that that is. So that's why traditional is put in there. You know, so uh, make sure what you're getting your yourself into because there's a lot of commitments. There's a lot of responsibility. Uh, you know, uh, you have a and. and, and you have to just be willing to give over your, your you know, just, just do what they ask you to do. My take on it, when I wanted to go into EFA and uh, I had a lady talking to me and uh, I was going to go into it, but when she started breaking this down to me, very, you know, in those terms, I can feel my body tensing up. I felt like Okay, this this is why I left religion. This is my whole body. This is what my body was telling me. My whole body was tensing up. So it 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 uh it was not for me. You know what I'm saying? It was not uh for me. And that's the and I knew it wasn't for me. And I talked to my spirit, my ancestors about it. And my take on it is, you know, we are Aboriginal people all over this planet. 
and uh, all of us, we, we had many ways we practice, you know, we practice our spirituality in the most purest forms, in our own unique ways. Uh, these initiations, you know, we, we created our own uh, spiritual traditions within our family that, that uh, empowered them. And they were even more powerful. Powerful. Okay? So, you know, and we didn't need to be initiated to have these, you know, have this power. This power is already within you, you know. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you need anyone to follow anyone else's, um, you know, tradition of being initiated to unleash something that's already in you if you follow your ancestors. And that's what I do. I know my Aboriginal ancestors that were already here, uh, the so-called Native Americans. Uh, you know, uh, we are those Native Americans. We're, we're, at, we're the Aboriginal people. They just come with these labels and everything trying to divide us. But everywhere you go, you see a brown-skinned, dark-skinned person looking like me. So uh, we already know the facts about that. So... You, you choose very carefully. Choose very carefully uh, whether you want to be initiated or not. Or whether do you want to develop, you know, because I, I feel like I'm still following my ancestors when I do hoodoo. I still uh, uh, have a relationship with the Orishas when I open that up. You know, uh, I'm a firm believer, believer that our ancestors... Uh, if, if you're mixed, because we were, we were mixed with so many things. Um, I'm a firm believer that some of my ancestors, you know, were involved with the Orisha and these voodoo deities. You know, that's why I'm attracted to them. Uh, but there's something, you know, there's some more blood in me too. Some more spiritual uh, DNA in me that I need to access as well that I have. So I, I don't feel I feel like my ancestors were uh you know they 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 the ancestors that were here I think they they were more hoodoo and hoodoo kind of it's it's a mix of everything and, and and I think it's even more powerful because those practitioners and group workers did not have to be initiated they were proved who they were in their own right so. Uh, and then this this uh, African ATR thing, it's been so compromised. You don't know if you're following or, or something authentic. You don't know. Because in these days, they are really polluting it and de diluting it with other stuff. So you don't know if it's really pure. And, and if those of you, you know, you some of you know what I'm talking about. So you have to be careful about the people that the the people the character of the people that you're following are they genuine is this stuff or authentic is what they're teaching me authentic you know is it pure so uh, keep that in mind too uh, but but you know our our ancestors didn't have some of them didn't have anything nobody taught them they were already here in the in the so called Americas and they already had this relationship with the great spirit the universe. And they were able to use their power, you know, and it was very effective. You know, they was able to harness their uh, uh, spiritual power. And some of them uh, practices uh, mirrored Voodoo, the Orisha, uh, and these other Native American spirits. You know, the white buffalo, you know. So these other Native, uh, Native spirits, we, we, our ancestors were very wise people. So, uh, don't feel less because you're not initiated as well. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, make sure you're getting initiated for the right reasons. You know, and if you're going to do it, make sure it's somebody that's authentic and that really care about your spiritual well-being and growth. You know, uh, but for me, I just, I, I, the religion thing... I just feel like that that has gotten our people in so much trouble because our people were masters in metaphysics, so they didn't need no religion. They they didn't need it. 
Why would you need something you come directly from? You are. You know, why? why, why? Our people didn't need no religion. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have no religion. We, we taught spirituality to other people, and they went and made a religion. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's, that, that's really what happened. That's why I don't get involved in that. Because it creates, you know, it creates feuds. You know what I'm saying? Somebody tradition is trying to push their traditions or their ideas or philosophies out on you, off on you. But we are people that master, you know, the many uh, faces of God. We, we master working with those many energies of God. You know, the different aspects of God. The, the various ways we can connect with the universe. You know, we've already, that, that, uh, our Aboriginal ancestors developed that. And now you're seeing people trying to go back to that calling it New Age. Uh, shamanism. Whatever they're trying to call it. And this is already an Aboriginal people. If you have melanin in you, then you, you are, you know, if you looking like me, got a lot of melanin in you, you already got that blood in you. You don't have to be initiated to anything else because you already been initiated. The blood is enough. That's just my perspective on it. Like I said, my mind thinks totally different. Because my mind thinks to totally different. And, and what made me start, you know, you know your spiritual experience. In that case, you to to be awake the way you are, you would have to be initiated. You didn't have need no initiation to be aware of your consciousness to start having these visions and having these uh, desire to uh, to have a more spiritual lifestyle. That's 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 already in you. That's that melanin. That's that connection with the universe, with nature. It's already it's already in you. What you need to do is develop it. And if you think that you need to develop through going through a religion. Just make sure you're doing the right, you know, you're making the right choice and this person is authentic and they care about your spiritual growth and well-being. If not, you can carefully create your own and, and don't feel less of yourself uh, on the way. Because, I mean, if you don't feel like you can do it successfully, it's not going to work, you know. And I know some of our people feel like they need some sort of religion. They need to follow somebody or something to have spiritual fulfillment. But that's not always the case, you know. Uh, I had a friend of mine say she she said she thinks she need it, you know. She said she thinks she she needs uh she needs spiritual uh she don't she doesn't have the discipline so she thinks she need need religion she need ifa, you know to each his own, you know if that's working for you do it but make sure that you're you're. You're enriched behind it that you're learning behind it. Okay? Make sure you're getting what you need out of it, too. And express your needs to your godmother uh, or anyone else. And if you uh, are, are uh, a practice of hoodoo, too, if there's any practitioners that you uh, want to learn from, uh, or you want them to be your godmother, you can reach out to those people as well. They'll be your god... They can be your, uh, you know, godparents and kind of you know, help you with develop spiritually, you know, more too. So you can go another route too in your spiritual growth. You know, you can always go out and, and try to see if you see any godparents and ask your ancestors to send you to godparents that can teach you to develop your gifts more. So, uh, and that happens sometimes. You know, you'll meet people that, that, that do healing work, do in-depth spiritual work, uh, and they can really help you, you know. So, uh, what I want to say is just look, like, look at all your options. Um, don't jump out there too quick when you, to get initiated. Understand, you know, what you're getting into. Uh, and make sure your needs are being met. So, that's, that's. That's the main thing in, in, in most of these. And make, and make sure it's authentic. Make sure it's authentic. But these are real epidemical problems uh, uh, in these ATRs, though. I'm telling you, though. That's why I don't get involved with these people. I don't. I'm sorry. But 
if you want to do it, these are the things you're going to have to make sure that's, that's real. Make sure that it's authentic. <laughs> Number one. Number two, make sure you're getting what you need out of it. Those are the more, most important things. And number three, make sure you got enough money to afford it. Because that's just how these things go. You gonna have to pay some money. And that, that too, is, is just, uh, you know, I don't understand that. You know, that's just me, though. Everybody is different. Everybody is different. But uh, make sure uh, you got those three things in order. When you are looking for initiation and, and stuff like that. And for the ones who are just practicing, you know, keep practicing, keep researching, keep trying different things. Uh, and I'll just keep sharing this stuff with you, what works with me, and good books uh, that you can get that will help you along your way. This, this was such a helpful book. I want to do some more research on more books like this. Uh, I'm really having some good good uh, results uh, doing this kind of work, more from this frame. So, uh, but yeah, get this book, Paper in My Shoe, by Catherine Your Run Wo Day. That's the only way I can, that's what it sounds like to me. I might be pronouncing it wrong. But uh, it's been out for a very long time. Very old book, very good book. Uh, I thank you so much for watching. Uh, if whatever you guys want to know about or whatever, don't be afraid to uh, ask me down in the comments, uh, you know, to cover a topic. Uh, I'm also going to be coming to you probably in a little bit. bit. Uh, if I can't get to it today, then I try to get to it tomorrow. But uh, I bought a book uh, that is full of names of spirits that I wanted to, uh, you know, give you a review on as well. But... Uh, anything you guys want to know that I haven't covered I'll be more than happy to cover that with you and we can and I discuss it you know I post it up here but thank you so much for watching light and love may the ancestors be with you